Hi, Donna from Posture Plus, if you are new here. If you haven't watched the other principles, you can watch them in any order. They, they're, they're not in sequential order for understanding or learning or anything like that. I've just popped them into um, a sequence so I've got all the content there and I'm not missing anything. There is a lot of detail with the Posture Plus program as you'll go through these principles um, it will reveal. And principle five is about mindful practice. Principle four was attention and intention. So they're kind of one and the same almost, but we're, we're talking more specifically about the how to turn in and tune in with principle four. Principle five is you've learned that and now you're really listening to the signals from your body. What are you feeling? Where are you feeling it? Why are you doing it? Where are you aiming to go with what you're doing? So in my opinion, that's where um, stretching, stretch therapy gets a bad rap because people think it's, a, it, they treat it as an afterthought, to be honest. And it it really needs, it's, What's the word? It really needs the nurturing attention that it deserves. And if you do that, you will get the results. So it's not count the clock. It's not count your breaths. It is a direction. You're trying to achieve a desired movement within a posture. It's not a static pose that you are doing. You start in a position and then what are you aiming to do? What are you trying to achieve? Where are you aiming to feel what you're doing? And then also, where are you headed? So that could be for the Pilates-based work, that could be for the foundation training work, that could be for the body weight work and for the stretching as well. The joint mobility, all of it, every movement that you do with your body, if it's done with awareness, and that's why in the module system with the Train the Trainer program, we start with posture awareness, um, posture essentials and posture awareness. So you've got your foundations, what's essential, and then we're teaching all about the awareness and connecting to that. So four and five are, are intimately connected and they feed off each other and four makes more sense once you do five and five then enables you to understand the depth of what you've gone through with principle four. So they, they are intimately uh, connected and integrate with each other and all the principles do. I'll keep mentioning back and forth between them all because they're, they're linked together. They're, they're not separate entities, although I'm introducing them and, and discussing them as separate entities. So what are you doing, why are you doing it, and where are you feeling it is the, the basis behind the mindful practice. And it also links back to the daily movement practice of what, what day is it and what are you doing? So just because it's Monday, I mentioned in that video, doesn't mean that you do that class, that session, even if you're in a team sport and you have training particular day, games particular days, if you can be more mindful of your body and actually listen to it, it will give you longevity in your sport. You may not do a game that week, but it will save you an injury that would have taken you out for six weeks. So it's, it's again, lost for words. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a little crystal ball for the body where um, you're really paying attention to what it's telling you and what it needs and not just doing the thing because it's a Monday and not doing the thing because it's game day. So you are better served by serving your body with this intentional um, aspect to your training, to your games, to your sport, to your work, everything. This vehicle needs attention. This vehicle needs nurturing and you will have the longevity from that vehicle if you look after it. And most people are well aware of that with their car, with their sporting equipment, um, with maintenance around the house, the body's the same. Um, yeah, the premise behind Posture Plus is to get people to learn how to look after themselves 
And all of that is, is encompassed in these 12 principles. So by the time we get to the end, I might do a nice little summary of all the little side, side thoughts and comments that have come out of these videos. That's why I'm, I'm doing them free form and not editing them. So excuse the ums and the pauses and, and all that sort of thing, because there's no editing in these ones. It's just straight talk and sharing what comes up as I'm talking. So mindful practice, principle five, go back and look at the others if you haven't. If it brings up questions, gets you excited, posture plus. Floors me daily is one of our little taglines to uh, get people thinking about what that means. And it brings us back to your get on the floor daily, principle three, your daily movement practice, principle one. And as I said before, everything is interconnected and interlinked and interwoven. It's, it's um, not sequential, but I can only introduce each principle in a sequential manner. So Thank you for listening and watching all the way to the end. Much appreciated. Hope it inspires you to come play with us. Go check out videos, other videos on YouTube, lots of free content there to play with. And then if you're inspired to get some personal instruction, get some help, join a class. We've got new training um, therapists coming on board to be able to provide Posture Plus all across Australia for now and in the coming years, maybe around the world but you can definitely access things online. We've got a heap of content on video, Vimeo, in video form on Vimeo. So check us out over there as well. And um, we'd love to see you soon live or have a chat, communicate. Let's start a dialogue and uh, see how we can help you.